Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to take those holiday poinsettias from the office in your house, maximize your investment, and get them pruned up and planted and ready for regrowth to turn into a nice annual house plant and eventually a bonsai. So that's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right, so like most of you and probably the majority of people who get these poinsettias around the holidays, I always just considered it a Christmas plant and never even thought, you know, after the fact that you could save these. Uh, after watching an episode on the Bonsai Zone when I first got into Bonsai, I realized, holy cow, you can actually save these plants and bring them back. Well, what better to experiment on than, you know, leftover plants that have already been paid for. Even better, um, I got to practice last year with uh, you know five to seven poinsettia plants from one of my clients' uh, branches. She manages banks, and so uh, you know every bank decorates with these things, and they're just discarded. So lucky enough, uh, I got them again this year, and they're starting to look in rough shape. So you know this is about the time they look in rough shape, and people throw them out because this is holiday. These are holiday colors. They represent the holidays. They're ready to just get rid of them. So honestly, if you see one out at a bank or an office or something like that, you might just want to ask if what they're going to do with them and you might be able to just take them home. So what I'm going to do is what I had success with last year. Last year, I left them in their pots, in their soil, and I just added Osmocote. I'm going to change that up this year and get them into some good um, lighter soil with a lot of perlite and also Osmocote Plus and I'm going to prune them as well. So you want to defoliate everything. So we're going to cut everything off as close to the branch as possible. Uh, if there are tiny new leaves growing, you know, at the inner node coming out from an old branch, you'll leave that. So I take that back. You don't want to defoliate entirely. If there's new growth, go ahead, keep that. Any old growth, we're cutting that off. And I'm going to take these back today pretty far. I'll probably leave six inches above the soil line and I'm going to plant them all in one pot nice and close together. I'd like to see if I can't get a, nice, a little poinsettia forest going because I have I have three poinsettias for currently. Um, one I left as a full plant. It's in a pot like this and it's grown back fully. It's nice. Um, the other one you saw in the introduction, that's kind of in a pre-bonsai state. Um, I let it, I'm letting it grow because it's just growing nicely. So it's like like really full for the size trunk I have it in and the pot um, but I like it for right now and then the third one I did on a previous video you can go back on my point set of playlist and check that one out um, I just root pruned it and gave it a hard prune its initial uh, bonsai planting so that one is completely defoliated um, there's nothing fun fun about it right now so there's no point in showing it what I am going to do is I'm going to go through these three plants I'm going to get them out of their pots, defoliate, prune, and repot on a time lapse. And I'm going to do my best to get music added to this time lapse because since my video editing program, my app has updated, I, it's like it's my first day. So hopefully you'll be listening to this music. If not, no excuses. I'll figure it out eventually. All right, stand by.
right, y'all, so here is an aerial view. You see what I was going for. I have them all grouped with uh, the one in the center straight up and all the others leaning outwards. Uh, and then I pruned them again back so that they're not really leaving the pot, the outside of the pot too much. And if there is any of these outer ones with a branch going in towards the center, I pruned that out. That's what happened off camera. And then I just watered it in to let it settle in. And what I'll do with these is I'm going to miss them uh, daily, a couple of times a day, as much as I walk by them with the mister, I'm just going to miss them. And we should start to see some growth kick out, I don't know, say between 10 and 17 days. So I will keep you posted on this. And other progress here in the ranch. So that's going to do it for me. Uh, Liverpool's on this afternoon, so I'm totally psyched. Uh, hopefully we get another win for the Reds. And uh, I just had a glorious run because it warmed up about 20 degrees today. Finally got above freezing. So I ran to the local organic market and met Laura for lunch. So, you know, if you're not doing bonsai inside and you got the sun out, go ahead, get outside. And um, I was just admiring all the silhouettes of the trees with the leaves off of them and uh, looking up and just trying to figure out, OK, what species is that? And that distracted me from the extreme pain I was feeling in my lungs and legs because here in northwest Connecticut, it's called Litchfield Hills for a reason. Um, I was going up some serious hills, <laughs> but anyways, I uh, hope y'all have a healthful and amazing day. Go Reds.